so just how far down do you want to go? We could talk it out over a cup of joe And you could look deep into my eyes like I was a supermodel Uh-huh, come on Say Hi, I'm Rob Fulmer. I'm the executive director of the Arizona Craft Brewers Guild, and you're here at Strong Beer Fest, part of Arizona Beer Week. We're here today doing a Founders Tap Takeover. We've been fortunate enough to have some KBS from 2014 on tap. My name is Bill Sysak, known as Dr. Bill in the craft beer community. I'm the craft beer ambassador for Stone Brewing Company, 10th largest craft brewing company in the United States, out of Escondido, California. I basically set the beverage philosophy for Stone. Uh, I'm a beer and food pairing expert, so I travel around doing events and educational pieces. Plus, I create festivals and do events at some of the larger format of Brewers Association, things like Sabre, uh, CBC, and also uh, JBF. I am Jeffers Richardson. I'm the, uh, the director of Firestone Walker Barrel Works, uh, aka nicknamed as the Barrel Meister. And this is uh, Arizona Beer Week. We are at the Skeptical Chemist, uh, featuring some Firestone Walker beers today. Dan Chenier, I'm with Mother Road Green Company out of Flagstaff, and we're hanging out here at the Watering Hall in Chandler, Arizona. We are here for Arizona Craft Beer Week. Uh, we're winding it up, but before it's all over, we're having a special cast night. So they tapped a very special cast. It's our Lost Highway Black IPA uh, that we threw in some cocoa nibs and some organic orange peel. To get out, get more notoriety, get people to taste our styles that we have, not necessarily just inside our brewery or out in the restaurants and bars, or kind of gets everybody, a whole community together, and it keeps the whole craft beer community that the main one. It's funny to see it grow. I mean, this is my 15th one. I've been to every single one. So to see how it's grown now and how big it is and how many people are that excited and energized about craft beer, that's been the biggest thing for me is just to see the progression of it through the years. It's been great. Being a Flagstaff Brewery, this is a great opportunity for us to introduce people of Phoenix and people of greater Arizona and more beer. Not everybody gets to come up to Flagstaff and visit us in our tap room. And it's a chance for us to come down and let you uh, taste all the fine beer that we make up there. Oh, it's a collaboration of beer for everyone to think about what beer is and how it's been made and to honor their pubs and go to the different breweries and to see what we're all about. And, and I, think, I think it also helps the public get a handle on the camaraderie that there, that there is among all the brewers in the state. You know, obviously we're all in the same business in one shape or form or another, but, but, uh, but we're all helping each other out. It just shows the community that. Well, Crap 
stories and art. And more importantly, it's we're supporting local businesses in the state of Arizona. Uh, there's over 91 cities in the state of Arizona, and there's over 60 microbrewery craft breweries in the state. So over half the cities in the state uh, have a brewery in their city or town, which is really means a lot to our, our state in terms of uh, local businesses and how we grow our economy. We trust, we say, now that the now and no how. Well, obviously, Arizona craft beer is growing at a rapid pace. Um, just the amount of breweries that opened up in the Phoenix area alone is, is outstanding and amazing. And hopefully, uh, we can keep working and get uh, SB, uh, SB uh, 1030 uh, to help, help us uh, make sure that, that craft beer can keep growing in Arizona. Five years ago, this festival had 40 breweries. Now we have 140 breweries, so I think we're going to grow. But uh, there is going to be some, you know, there's going to be some uh, up hills to climb. Um, but in terms of Arizona, I, I, I expect smaller breweries in the neighborhood. I expect less breweries going to distribution. I expect uh, we're going to see some uh, uh, breweries from the north part of, the, of Arizona get large by having a presence in the, in the valley. Um, so I think, you know, all the pieces are largest, I think they understand that everyone these days can grow faster than they ever did. And they'll get to where they were in a short time. Well, you know, like always, we've got some tricks up our sleeves. Uh, got a lot of releases this year. Um, got some new ideas. Um, let's just say we got some treats in store. Keep an eye on us. Probably the biggest thing is uh, we're going to be putting our beer in cans by the end of the year. So that was a big step for us. Um, but uh, people are asking for it. We're big, Scott. Lots of things. Hopefully, some more growth. Uh, we're getting a new bottling line coming in, um, which means we might put some other beers in package. We're talking about maybe Raj as a bottle. Uh, we want to go to a 22 ounce format. Uh, we're excited about spring training, too. We really think we're going to make some interrupts there this year. So, lots of good stuff. Every year is different. It's kind of hard to put a steering wheel on the rocket, but we do it. Have something coming out in the next three months we're gonna be doing canning so once we start our canning we have another set of uh, distribution out there besides our bottles and our draft so hopefully that's gonna definitely generate some more business for us and for the craft community a big year you know as I mentioned uh, some of the beers we brought out three brand new beers for the year we'll have another new seasonal um, you know uh, we'll have uh, another year-round beer which is rumored to be a nitro beer later in the year a lot of fun stuff coming from this. Hopefully we're going to get a canning line going up soon. We are doing a whole bunch of collaborations coming up. Devil's Tail is uh, our first one that we did with Devil's Backbone out of Virginia. See, we're going to introduce a couple new styles uh, to the market, uh, which Arizona will see. Uh, we'll do our Double White in cans, six packs, uh, which is a big thing for us. And then our Red Ale uh, will also be in cans and six packs. Uh, it's available now in bottles, but there's been a high demand for cans. This year we have a lot of new releases coming out and a lot of new beers. Um, breaking into the sour market this year, and we've got a lot of specialties coming. Yes, so we want to introduce you to see our raspberry provincial, which is our raspberry beer ice, and we're packed to see 12 ounce bottles, so we're excited for that. It's great, uh, such a cool uh, sour beer. They set us up.
charge for releasing our plush and bump, which is uh, part of our backstage series that we released back in 2011. We're re-releasing it this March. Uh, and then in April, we have KBS Week, which I'm really excited about. Uh, so KBS will release thank you for so, And then in May, we have a few kegs of CBS, which our Canadian breakfast out. And we'll have some CBS events in May. We are going to roll out our very first IPA, which is kind of exciting. Expanding in New Mexico, we're going to be adding new product lines on regular basis, such as our uh, extra pale IPA, which was originally a spring season, it's now going to become a year-round offer. We're going to see a lot of uh, growth and build out in the brew house to expand all of our operations, and it's going to be difficult, but it's going to be extremely exciting for us. Well, we're talking to some other brewers. We're uh, going to be doing some collaborations. Uh, we've done a couple collaborations in the past. With, uh, we did one with our. Uh, Nano Brewery in Prescott, we did a Sasan, we did a collaboration with all the brewers for Heroes 19, uh, but in 2015 we've talked to a couple of different brewers who are working on a collaboration that uh, we think will be kind of fun. Well, we're just going to keep pushing along with uh, all of our beers. Uh, we're bringing out uh, our watermelon in uh, cans this year, so we're looking forward to that. Uh, also we have um, our shark cages, which is just a variety pack that's relatively new Sadly, uh, we pulled uh, double DBA from our from the uh, release this year. But uh, the good news is, is we are introducing a beer called El Dorado. Uh, that's a beer that we've had for several years now. It is a uh, component beer for anniversary, and we've got a lot of people asking us to bottle it, so we decided to bottle it. Uh, Barrel Works. We will continue just to release beers at the Barrel Works in terms of bottles. And to me what's exciting is we have three collaborations with local wineries. We're in wine country, we're surrounded by vineyards, so we like to work with a few wineries. So uh, those will come out, those are beer wine hybrids, those will come out in, uh, sometime in the fall. We couldn't have the kind of footprint we have and the exposure we have without anything. So thank you for all that you guys do. Um, cheers to you guys.